a divided by b j divided q j quotient r is a remainder. Okay. Now, what is example? So, to find the HF of 140 using Euclid Indian lemma. So, first of all, solution. You are finding the HF of 140. So, first of all, we take uh, smaller number is 40 and also larger number is 100. So, smaller number, you will take smaller number. Larger number is 100. So, larger number is divided by smaller number. Okay, so that is 100 is 100, this is 40, so smaller number you will write in here, in the place of a divider, 100 is you will take in here, in the place of a dividend. So this should go to 40 to the 80, 40 to the 80, so that is you will get a remainder 20. Next, <coughs> it is a remainder 20. This is divided, you will take as a dividend here, so that is a 20 to the 40. So, you will get a remainder 0. Then, that is divided is a HF of. You will get a remainder 0. Then, that is divided is a HF. So, that HF is a 20. Okay? Which is how you write in a, by using Euclid is lemma. So, you know the condition that is A is equal to B2 plus R and also 0 is less than or equal to B. You know, <coughs> or less than b and so here remainder is always less than the divisor remainder is always less than the divisor so suppose here you observe here remainder so this is the remainder 20 divided is a 40 and so here remainder is always less than the b r is less than the b yes and also r is less is equal to r is equal to 0 r is remainder is also is equal to R. So that condition is a 0 is a less than or equal to or less than B. Okay. Now so here we take it is a, a is a 100, B is a 40. So 100 is equal to 40 divided is a 40 into Q is a quotient that is equal to plus 20 is a remainder. So because by Euclid Dijon lemma. Next so, we take a B here. B is a 40. 40 is equal to so here this is a dividend, 40 is equal to divided 20 into, that is a dividend, that is a B into quotient is a 2 plus remainder is a 0. Then you will get the remainder 0. That B value, that B value is a HCF. So that is a HCF of 100 and 40 is a 20. Okay? Right. Now we are going to exercise 1.1. So, in exercise 1.1, in one second problem, so you are find HCF of 186 and 3,000, So, first of all, this will go to 196, 196. So, here remainder, so 60 table from 2, you will get a 6, here 7 remaining. So, you take power, you will get a 17. <coughs> So, 9 table from 7 will get a 8. So, remainder here 2, 1 remain. Next, you will take a 2. Now, this will go to 1969. 1969 that is 1764. We will get 12. 4 in table from 12 will get a 8. And also here 5 remaining. You take a borrow. That is a 6, 15. So, 6 table from 15 will get a 9. Next, will be 0, that is a 980. Now this will go to 196, 5 to 980. You will get a remainder 0. Then, does the divider is a HCF. So, <coughs> solution 196 and 38,220. So, by Euclid, division lemma. You know the condition A is equal to B2 plus R and 0 is less than or equal to R less than B. And that means B is a divider. R is a remainder. So remainder is always less than the divisor. Okay, no? R equal to 0. R equal to 0. 
Okay? Right. So, follow the this one. So, here, A is equal to 38,220. 38,220. That equal to B is a divided into 196 into quotient is a 195 plus remainder is a 0. So, here, because by Euclid's division lemma, by Euclid's division lemma. Okay, so here you get a remainder 0, then that will divide that B value is a HCF. So therefore, HCF of 19600, 38220 is 196. Okay, na? Right. Remaining first and third one, you do. Remaining first and third one, you do. Okay, na? Right.